Ruth here, and this <coughs> is uh, one of the uh, Sophie and Toffee's Harry Potter uh, kits. This is a uh, invitation letter resin craft box. That's what the what the label says, I guess, because the other one <coughs> looks exactly the same. So this one came with the freebie. Uh, Easy link, literally E Z or E Z if you want to say that. So um, well, I looked it up, and it's like U.S. This is a U.S. based thing. So here in the U.K., I don't think you can really use these to pay things like I think people use them for like substitute to uh, train cards and stuff like that I think I'll have to read look it up again I kind of forgot but um it's kind of I don't know a bit <clears throat> unusable over in this country I think they're like I mean it's good for decoration anyway but like similarly um I vaguely remember my brother got me a uh, a Charmander a train thing like that, and um, it's mainly usable in Taiwan <laughs> or something. So, <coughs> yes. So um, just put that over there. That look, there's kind of gold foiling on Hogwarts name and Harry Potter right there. On the side of this box, it also has handle printed on, obviously. On those. And it looks like that on the back. I'm quite excited to see it. I already kind of know what's inside anyway, but still. That's cool. It's very nice. got a welcome to Hogwarts thing and it shows what's inside. Very handy. It's not even a booklet. It's just a kind of posterish looking thing. Anyway. Probably should take a picture. Oh, it's got the, the uh, would you call them jump rings? I don't know. These are for, uh, the acceptance letter. Yes, nine gold jump rings. That's what they call. And there are mini ones as well for the mini invitation envelope mold pendant size. There. Let me just take a picture of this because I like taking pictures of. Everything. <laughs> right, let's focus. I've got the sticker on upside down, so hopefully things. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if things are upside down. Okay, so <clears throat> going by the list here, we've got five packs of mica pigment powder. So we've got it in blue. You can put this further away that way. That up the way. So, as I said, there's blue, rich gold, wine red, pearl white, and copper, all weighing in at 5 grams each. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it together. <coughs> and here's the uh, thing I mentioned before. It is a little pendant sized Hogwarts invitation envelope mold. So it's 
it up back. Here we have a very cute 3D Hedwig shaker mold. And then we have ah, it is a Hogwarts Express train ticket shaker mold. Alright. There's a little shaker shakers on the side. I don't know if you can really see that. Is a uh, symbol for a nine platform nine three quarters, a train, a chocolate frog card or box shape, and a chocolate frog. Don't know if you really see that, but then it does have the uh, ticket design on here. We can't really can't really see, but it is there. <clears throat> and then we've got the design resin film. For the acceptance letter, so two for the big mold and a four for the little mold with lots of mini Hogwarts crests down there. Oh, here's um A plasticky bit. Yeah. It's to um, go over the uh, shaker mold to keep the liquid in and stuff. Like the uh, plastic window to go in front. That's what that is. Oh, did I actually say this or not? Uh, this is the uh, bigger a Hogwarts invitation envelope mold that can open. Oh yes, yeah, so that's the clear shaker film. Is what it says. I sort of didn't see that. But, um, And lastly, we have four open bezel metal charms. So here we go. There is an acceptance letter, chocolate frog thing, a suitcase, and a um, Bertie Botts. Thing. Box. There we go. Four designs. If you want the close up, there's the uh, yeah. Let's see. <coughs> Discover the magic with our first Harry Potter collection. Welcome to Hogwarts. The Harry Potter invitation letter craft box inspires to bring you back to where it all started. That's what it says. Ugh. Sorry. Um, things just keep falling down, don't they? Oh. Just like that. Like this for a second.
There we go. Watching, like I said, more. We're gonna do over for locations. Over. Okay, so this is the Hedwig mold. I uh, tried to put some color to the eyes and beak. I didn't have brown, so. Also, I don't think it helped that it cured you. The on top part. I think I'll leave this a bit more. Because it needs to be solid so I can take it out. to retry so I check it out. And I don't know if it will harden because I think I did get the ratio mixed up. I'm going to use the calculator next time just to be sure but uh, that's what it looks like. It's pretty. It's got lots of bubbles though. It's you know not cured because it's really flimsy. But it is pretty. Next time I'll uh, make sure I have all the colors I need. But yeah, that's my uh First foray into resin. <clears throat> I'll try and do it better next time. See if it actually goes well. So I wanted to try this one first because, as you see, this one was the one with the resin part and yellowing already. So, yeah. Okay, so after a few days, I did harden more, so I guess it was just the bathroom that wasn't hot enough or something. So yesterday, 
Well, this is going to be very confusing days, but this is, I, uh, I filled it in a few days later. So I can I put it back in there to... So it's uh, not as uh, straight as it was probably supposed to, because I took it out of the mold before it finished. But there you see. That's pretty. So like, it is hard. Just... So I did use the, uh, it's called Pearl White Mica Powder in the uh, original white, you know. Then I did some red, like, well, leftovers of the red mica powder thing, and put some red glitter, as you see. So, since there's only a little bit left of the red powder left, so it's still slightly transparent, which is good, because that's what I was hoping for anyway. So, yeah, that's what this looks like. So, not sure what I want to do with it, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe drill a hole right here and have a little loop thing. Have it on something, but I'll, uh, I'll fix it up after, because it's just a bit sharp in some points. And technically the feet did not actually make it out of the mold. Because as you see, little feet right here, I guess I didn't put enough in, or I took it out too early. Well, it was my first attempt, so. Yeah, so that's this one.